It is big cat feeding time in the rescue zoo. We are gonna feed the lynxes, the carcal, and the servals. And uh, I've heard rumors that Alex is gonna help us. Let's get started. We are supposedly gonna be feeding our big cats, cats. in the rescue zoo today, yeah. Alex. We are supposed to be feeding our big cats in the rescue zoo. But we have been recording all day and time flies. Flies way too quickly, not enough hours in the day. What else did we do with the cats today? We did enrichment with the cats today. So we figured that you guys should not be cheated out of the feeding video, but there's also something about that we can't show the meat on Twitch. Yes, there are rules and regulations. So instead, we're going to talk a teeny bit about our different cats. First one, we have Kato or Desert Lynx Carcade. Yes. What do you tell us about him? He looks like a mini lynx. <laughs> He's also known, they're very solitary animals. Uh, they're not ones for company. The, him specifically, he's a sneaky little one. He likes to, when you walk past, come running up to you and jumping up on, 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 the, th on the fence because he wants a bit of attention. He's a very big attention seeker. But out in the wild, they're actually known as bird catchers because their main diet would be jumping, without having to have a run up or anything, would be jumping straight up into the air to catch whatever's flying by. Mm. Next on our enrichment trip that we're now uh, <laughs> putting into our feeding video, mm -hmm. we have the servals. Yes, beautiful, beautiful servals. Very, very Tell elegant. Tell us about them. Well, they're very elegant cats, especially if you look at Freya. She's a very elegant girl, but they actually have a place in history. They were very, very important for the, the Egyptian pharaohs back in the day. They were used as royal cats. Um, so if you were to go into the tombs of some of the pharaohs, you would actually find mummified um, servals because they were very, very high class kitty back in the day. Um, also, the fun fact, we've actually brought this up on a video the last time, uh, was that when they're actually sitting there eating, if they do hunt their food out in the wild, while they're sitting eating, they always keep their ears pinpointed up because on the back of their ears, it looks like you've got a set of eyes looking at you, even from the back of their head. And the rule of thumb is, eyes at the front, ready to hunt, eyes at the side, ready to hide. So uh, even though they might not, they might have their back to you, it still looks like they're keeping an eye on you so they won't get attacked from behind. Lastly, we were supposed to be feeding Luna Nela, yes. our two Eurasian lynxes. Yes. What can you tell us about them? Well, fun fact with them, and again, it's thanks to various conservation projects. Back in the day, they were actually called the European lynx. Um, because they were actually dying out. But again, thanks to uh, conservation projects being able to help them out in, out in the wild, they're now that far spread across and the population numbers have increased. We had to officially change the name of the European lynx to the Eurasian lynx because you can find them as far as Japan nowadays. Um, but also, why I like to call, going back to Keto, call him a mini lynx is because they do look very similar to, to, to the actual lynx um, because they have the little tufts on their ears and they have the, the, the jumping abilities because they're known to jump straight up into the air as well. And But they have an extremely awesome smelling sense. They can actually smell an actual rat, just one single rat. They can smell a rat from 50 meters away. It's amazing. I mean, their eyesight, they can actually see a mouse from 250 feet away. It's an amazing smell and, and, and eyesight that the, the lynx have. Alex told us a few facts about our three different kinds of big cats in the rescue zoo. I now want to tell you guys a teeny bit about the different rescue stories. If we start out with Kato, our beautiful new desert lynx or carcale, Kato were growing in a well, a, I don't even know how to say it, an apartment in France, somebody were having him walking around, um, and I've put some details on this before, we, uh, we, we try not to tell the story again, if you guys want to see the, the full story on this, I think we have it either on YouTube or on TikTok, but, uh, but yeah, somebody were having Kato in their apartment um, privately, and as we were told, even the, the French police were kind of scared on getting Kato in, so we, we had some of the organizations we're working with out picking up Kato before he got here to the rescue zoo and, and now living here 
well, permanently and happy and healthy. Next up, we have our beautiful servals, and this is a very great story in telling exactly how we work here in the rescue zoo, because as we are both a zoo and a rescue zoo, we are able to mix and match sometimes when we get in, like a single rescue animal, uh, Fire came in from a different zoo in Denmark, and I, I believe the, the, the zoo were forcefully or permanently being shut down, and therefore she was in the need of a home. And Felix were not necessarily a, a normal, in quotes, rescue. He wasn't being mistreated in any way or form, but he was a surplus animal sitting alone as well, or to be put down. So we can then mix and match with an animal that has had a hard life and with another one that might be sitting alone or were to be put down. So happy animals today. And uh, as you can see from the enrichment video, they were extremely, he was the one being extremely excited about today's enrichment with the, with the camel hair. Next up and lastly from our bigger cats and rescue zoo, we are moving over to Luna and Nayla. Luna and Nayla is our two, as Alex explained, Eurasian lynxes, as they are called today. And those two are sisters and we're going in a one by one meter enclosure. So as you can see, this, well, they weren't as big as they are today, but it's still not okay. And uh, they are having a wonderful time in their big enclosure here in the rescue zoo. A thing to remember is that when the animals have been through these things and are coming from these situations, it is something that you are, you know, slowly progression and giving them more and more space. And this big enclosure they have now is not something you give them from day one especially when they've been living in one by one meter enclosures but as you can see they have been you know slowly progressing into the life and the health they have today and again with all the cats happy healthy and we are very proud of our work here in the rescue zoo unfortunately this is the end of today's episode here from the rescue zoo we hope you guys enjoyed and uh, want to join us again very soon with another story from the daily life here with the 600 animals and if you're watching on the Sunday show on Twitch, another rescue story is coming right up. It was Nico here and I hope everybody's gonna have an amazing day. Take care guys.